my building the Black Pearl, all scenario version. And I think you can tell that I made some progress. Uh, it's sometimes it's hard to remember from what point you started and what point you ended. But uh, I'm very happy with how it's turning out. Let me go ahead and get into the triumphs and tragedies that have occurred. Making progress. Slow and steady, but sure. You may recall that I said I was going to try my bandsaw because some of these parts are hard to get out. Here's an example. I need to get these little bitty squares out of here and I'm having trouble, you know, sticking a knife in there and getting them to pry out. So I've started cutting just right along the edge and then I think I can grab them with a, either a needle nose pliers or something and tweak them out. So I think my theory is going to work. You have to be very careful and not cut them. I've raised this up just so I can see better. Normally this would be lower. Now my thought is I'll be able to go in here and just kind of pop these out. Not going to do it yet. I may have to also go just in between them. Let me try that. That is working. Another one popped out. I did recover the little piece that dropped down inside where the blade was. Actually it had fallen down on the table below it. And then I realized, oldest trick in the world and I completely forgot about it. First you need to start off with a clean table and some painter's tape. And first we're going to go across and behind the blade, right up to the blade. Now we're going to go in front of the blade, right up to the teeth. Actually, you can put it between the teeth if you want, because it'll cut it. And now one each to the left and the right of the blade. On this one, I'm going to cut a little slit. About as wide as the blade. You can taper it. Because I want to overlap that other piece of painter's tape. Just a slight amount. Doesn't need to be much. I have just one more of these to get cut out. I don't know if you can see, but it just popped right out and there it lays. I have a nice little cup. Put them all in. I'll mark that as to what it is. This is what I said I could have done with those O-rings or washer-like rings that go at the bottom of the masts. I wish I'd remembered that that's what I was going to do before I even started. So this works great. I know not everyone has a band saw. I'm sure a scroll saw would work equally well, but this very uh, fine tooth thin blade did excellent work. Very happy with how it uh, did on the cuts. So I went ahead and on placard G and H. Here's G as an example and these parts on the actual wooden placard they are not marked. It just gives you G and then you have this uh, uh, drawing to determine which piece is which. Which, you know, that works fine. I don't have a problem with that. But these parts, some of them are very, very tiny. So I was able to cut them out. And then I put them in individual bags and marked them. I think that will save me quite a bit of time because I won't have to look back at the uh, parts drawing. I can just get the part and keep moving on. An example of how well the, uh, the band saw, or I suppose, a, like I said, a scroll saw would probably work too. This piece is very fragile and I got it out with no damage whatsoever. Part number G12. I've been struggling to find the part number for this top rail and I've looked through the pole to book 
every page, I'm pretty sure, and I just cannot find it. I just need to confirm what the part number is. Then I, I remembered that when I built the Black Pearl Golden version, which I still have the manual for, that I didn't have that problem. So this is the golden version, so do, do not get confused. But it helped me clarify. Now the part numbers are different, different as far as the letter, but this confirms this part, this rail through here, is A5 and 6. And if I go to the placard for that, or the diagram for that, this layout is very similar to the all scenario version. And here's 5 and 6. And if I go over to the actual placard, I can pretty much determine that these are the pieces that are used for that. I'm, I was pretty sure they were. I just needed to confirm it. Now on here, this is placard B instead of A. The lower K B drawing. And you can see they're uh, also numbered 5 and 6. So I hope that's not, not too confusing for you, but it is not marked in the instruction booklet as to this one top rail that goes on top of these which I will end up putting all the way across but so that clarifies it for me I can continue from there when you're getting these parts these little round discs that go um, on the ship right here different places here where the curved parts are be aware for both G and H here it is on that um, H, that there are supplemental miniature little G and H's, so you have the right amount. Another thing to mention on these two pieces, there's some subtle things that make it so that you know you get them put together right. First, the little lip matches up on both of them, and one is actually just a little bit thicker than the other. So pay close attention when you start putting these together that you have them lined up right. I've been working on the railings for the upper deck and this area down here I made an error in positioning this one. It really should have been up higher where it would contact this but what I'm going to do is just put a block of wood underneath this right under there to connect the two and I'll just cut off this excess. You would be cutting the excess off anyway. The other tip or thing that I learned. On this one I um, put the rail and these posts together first and then tried to insert them in this lower part. That was a little bit more difficult than this side in which I glued the posts in first, held this up and was able to trim this and this has a slight angle going that way so it'll fit right in that little slot and because I made the error on the one side I went ahead and did this in the same way. I found the putting the ship's railing on a little bit challenging. I ended up taking a triangular file because it would fit just right and filed off just a little bit to get them to fit over easier. Now the outside edge is where it needed it and that's real thin anyway so I'm talking just micro amounts that I removed to get these to slide a little bit easier on there. Put them on dry and then I just put a little drop of uh, CA glue on the back side and worked pretty well. I did use standard wood glue on the bottom of the post and then after about probably an hour of it setting up I came out and put these uh, rails on and I chose that because the wood glue is a little bit flexible when it's not quite completely dry so I could wiggle them just a little bit and get everything lined up just right. Something I should have done before putting all these rails on is round the edges. It'll look much better. It's just too um, it, it would be worn or designed that way. So it's going to be a little tough doing this section where there are posts, but down in here it'll be pretty easy to round it off.
I finished rounding off all these uh, edges to my satisfaction. And I think I had put tongue oil on this because it's about the same color as the deck and it is the, uh, the walnut. But after I did this, I've got raw wood there. So I think I'm going to try and stain it and see if I get a little color variation around the edges. It's a risk, but I'm willing to take it. So let's see what my experimental stain, restaining of this turns out to look like. I finished working on the top rail. I added the uh, additional stain. I'm happy with the looks of that. Still looks a little wetter than the lower part, uh, but that's because it's freshly stained and a lot of this will have more color to it once I put the tongue oil on it. But I'm very happy with how it turned out. I'm very happy that I rounded off the edges. That should have been done even before I put it in place. My error, you can see I put the dowel rod in there, so this will all match up. And I think it's going to look satisfactory. I'll cut this off right about there and then sand it down, make it look a little bit better. So I'm happy with that. It turned out as well as could be expected considering the, the minor error that I did with those. I'm very frustrated with that. I knew better and I just started working on it and the next thing I knew I hooked it up to the wrong place. That's it. Part 14 is in the books. Give you a little fly over here, different angle than what I normally show. I'll do some more work on the deck, and it's got some dust on it, so bear with me. Things will get cleaned up eventually. So the Black Pearl, all scenario version, is coming along just fine.